Hey everybody on YouTube, good morning. Uh, and this is a really good morning today. Uh, first of all, it must be Christmas again. <laughs> I want to thank everybody who responds to my uh, video equipment donations. Uh, sometimes I get stuff and I don't even know where it comes from. But um, this is a particular uh, three-quarter matic I wanted to point out to the people in Philadelphia especially the ABC affiliates out there for shipping this to me and making a donation. I want to thank you people very, very much for this donation. Uh, I wanted to make a video of this to point out some unique things. This is not just an ordinary three-quarter pneumatic machine. This thing is one of the mega, what you call Cadillacs of three-quarter pneumatic machines. This is a direct drive uh, three-quarter uh, machine that has direct drive motors to it, as you can see. It's a BVU 850. This is an editing deck. This is some of the earlier ones. These things were built like brick houses. These are the machines you want to find. Three-quarter pneumatic machines, the other types are, I mean, I always, said, I always said to people asking me which ones do I prefer. I think all the later machines are really garbage because they're made so cheap. This thing is very, very heavy. It's got direct drive motors in it. It doesn't have that cheap clutch motor that runs everything. And these are solid motors that run your spindles, so your tapes will work a lot easier in these decks. It's got its own uh, electronic cards that you can swap out for repairs or for uh, troubleshooting or whatever. And you can plug them in and plug it out, which is another thing I love very much because the other ones are internal and you have to unplug everything. It's a real pain in the ass. Th these ones with the top cards are always fantastic. This thing has all the bells and whistles. It's got a shuttle. It's an editing deck. It's got the VU uh, video RF meter. It's got the audio meters. It's got the separate control audios. This thing is what you call the Cadillac of three-quarter pneumatic machines. This thing is built like a brick house. The BVU 850 and the BVU 950s were really the best three-quarter pneumatic, uh, three pneumatic machines ever made. These things are serious, serious recorders. If you're going to do any... Uh, high-end uh, transfers and you, you want to eliminate as many problems as possible with these stupid tapes that you play in these three-quarter pneumatic machines which are always the worst the bvu 850 and 950 is the machine you want to go they're very expensive if you're trying to find them and uh, in my case this was a donation so i was just pretty much blown away um but anyways, this is the Cadillac of three-quarter pneumatic machines. I just got this late last night, and I, I was very surprised. I had no idea this was coming. This is a direct drive three-quarter pneumatic machine. I could seriously use this deck. I was extremely happy somebody sent this to me. Right now, as you can see, I'm servicing it. Uh, the loading carriage is completely out of whack, uh, but most of everything on this thing functions. This shouldn't take me more than a few hours to fix, but... Um, this is a serious, serious three-quarter pneumatic machine. It's a BVU 850. This is the way to go if you're looking to do some serious three-quarter pneumatic transfers with big archives. You want to stay away from those cheaper units that came towards the end, the, you know, the uh, 9600, 76. Those are all cheap units. They always need repairs. They're, they're made very cheaply. These units here were the workhorse machines. They were very uh, seldom ever needing repair. These things did, completely did the job. This is some serious, serious stuff. So if you're doing three-quarter pneumatic large archives, I recommend the BVU 850 or 950. Um, like I said, I service every one of these. They're generally all set up the same, so I pretty much know what all the problems are. But these are some serious, serious machines. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.